Hello, I'm Lynn Homasak, President of SOS Healthcare Management Solutions, and I'm so happy we could sponsor and be a part of your meeting today. I'm so sorry I couldn't be here in Vermont to meet you in person, but a travel conflict made it impossible, so I really appreciate this video opportunity to be able to introduce myself. Many of you know me already from presenting at your state or regional meetings or from the articles I write for your newsletters. My goal since the beginning of my almost 40 year career, I was three when I started, is to bring to life the purpose, value, and the power that staff have in a podiatric office. With the keen understanding that a successful staff and doctor team combined with effective operational systems is what truly drives a successful practice. So SOS was developed to make that happen. I lecture year-round at national, international, state, and regional meetings. And I'm in podiatry offices all over the United States and Canada. What I am always sure to hear is my staff should understand this, or conversely, my doctor should recognize that. As you know, learning doesn't stop with a diploma, and the right training is the key to continued success. To make that happen, SOS has designed a one-day, comprehensive office training and productivity workshop for your members and their staff. We also offer a post-workshop program that allows me to stay in touch and share knowledge through interactive staff meetings, personal action plans, and Skype conferences. I encourage you to please visit our website for more about the workshops, the educational content, our services, and of course contact information for SOS. At each of our training workshops, I begin by showing this one slide as my introduction to the group. I want you to take a look at the last bullet. It may seem like an attempt at humor, but I assure you, I do know a lot of important people. And one day, I'm sure they would get to know me too. I was right, here are the photos to prove it. Okay, the first one, old blue eyes. I told you I've been doing this for 40 years. And Dino too, I was part of the Rat Pack, if you remember back when. Where do you think they came up with that haircut? Who doesn't think he's cute? I think Tom Hanks is a chiropodist. Think of relative something? Me and Dolly, ooh, that was a crazy night. Next. Oh, wait, that's the same night. And I think that's Captain and Mrs. Kirk at our table? Well, this is me giving John Glenn some swimming pointers. I, I also know some really important international figures. Here's Ichiro. And I have some political connections, thanks to Barry Block and Kermit. Just took this one last week with Mary and someone named Julia. Sorry to see that Larry King retired, really, at such a young age woman in black uh, don't think it really caught on but I did meet some cute guys speaking of cute guys you all know David Armstrong don't you this fella's got some skills talk about skills and the guy on the left is no slouch either what happens in LA stays in LA oh and sweet baby James Always have a soft spot for him. Not sure how that night ended. Something about a professional foot massage? Washington's Governor Christine Gregoire receiving the Governor's Award. A very proud moment. Wow, check this guy out. I think that other dude is Ben Affleck. And David Letterman had top 10 reasons to see a podiatrist. The Hallux, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, and then, and then. And very proudly, the 2010 Podiatry Lifetime Achievement Award. As you may or may not realize, at the 2010 APMA National Meeting, I was inducted into the Podiatry Management Hall of Fame, and I was recognized as an expert by my peers. That said, I would like to offer this short video on office telephone technique so I can illustrate why training and preparation is so very important. Most of the situations that we face on the telephone can be... Go back. Can you cut that little part and then just... Friday at 2.15 in the afternoon. Friday, January 3rd. Two. No, stop that again. 
stop it. Okay, so that's that will be June 3rd on... <laughs> you just hung up on the patient. I think... <laughs> well, thank you for calling, Mrs. Jones. Oh, stop. Okay, so the appointment then we have set for you is for... That's it. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Jones. Bye-bye. As you know, the telephone is a powerful tool. And like any good tool, it really requires some skill and training. Ask them if they have the, if they can stand them. For what? What you, what I really want to stress that you're, that you need, one of the things I'd really like to stress that is of, a, of importance. Last but not least, use good manners. <laughs> you're taping. I can tell when you're taping because it blinks. <laughs> May I help you? Um, don't talk or eat, drink, or chew gum at your desk while you're answering the phone. Don't talk. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm done. I finished. You looked away in that last one. I did not. I took it back. No, I'm not doing it again. It's done. I didn't look away. Thank you again for your time, and I look forward to meeting all of you. I would like to include you all in my list of very important people that I know, because really, you all are. Enjoy your conference, have a wonderful time, and thanks again for listening. Are we done? Yeah. Good. Here you go. Here's your... Do you think it was okay? Okay, great. I got a lot of work to do, so let me get back to it. I remember the days of just keeping time, of hanging around in sleepy town. Cheers. Forever. Back roads empty for miles Well, you can't have a dream And cut it to fit But when I saw you I knew we'd go together Like a wink and a smile Leave your old jalopy Happy to see Pontiac.